Look at that guy over there, he's looking at me. Wait, he was. Are you interested? Homegirl, don't play that. <laughs> what do you do if you go on a date with somebody and you kiss them, then, and another guy asks you on a date? Like, don't, don't you feel guilty? Whatever. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to start dating. There's enough skeletons in the closet. When you meet someone at 25, my God, with a 60-year-old, it's just going to be loaded the graveyard. Well, apparently, I need to go lingerie shopping because I had a husband that didn't give any hoot about the lingerie. I think right now you're going through a little funk. Oh, absolutely. I think that part of the reason why I don't can't imagine myself with someone or dating somebody is because I'm still not comfortable in my body. If I were to take my clothes off, it's like, I don't want to see it. So I don't want somebody else to see it. But if you have confidence in yourself. I know I'm a good catch, but it's hard for me to say. I just was told for so many years that I'm selfish and that I'm worthless and that I'm fat. That's what happens when you, you don't take the silver spoon out of your mouth. They're very nice. You're none of those. No, things. I know, I know I'm not. When you hear it for so long. I've heard all those things too, Shannon. Listen, there's not days I don't cry or depressed that I'm like, you know, I'm lonely. I don't have anybody having my back. Right. Sad. Yeah, I know. Because we like, you want to have a partner. I want to have a partner. A, I want to have a partner. I want somebody too. that's there for me. Or I I'm there for them. I see you tearing up. Because it's sad. Uh, no, I know. No, but it's, it's sad for me. You know, it looks like I go out and I have a good time with guys, but the reality is I just got out of a 13-year marriage and I am not used to being alone. No, but it's good because the best and right thing is happening for the both of us. Right. For the both the of best us. and right thing is happening for the both of us. Both of us. Oh, my God. Kelly and I have gone through hell and back. Get the Keep out of here. Keep eating. This isn't my plate. You bitch. I'm right. so sorry that I acted that way. Who would have thought that I'd be sitting having a nice conversation and her supporting me shows you how you can evolve. I'm just grateful that you and I have reached this point in our relationship where we totally understand each other. You have such a big heart. And I'm I'm really grateful that I'm we're grateful to you too. I mean, who knew? Who knew? <laughs> it was you! It was you! Ooh.